Oh my god. That is really that's so good. That is so good. Wow. I almost feel guilty that you're gonna reveal how it was done because it was that good. My initial thoughts on how you did that. Yeah. I cannot believe you're in the room on your own. Wrong, 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 wrong. There's no one here and I didn't switch anything. You could be here in person. Really? Yep. In in that case it was it was brilliant. Uh fantastic trick. It's so simple. The, the, the brilliance is in the simplicity, isn't it? The first thing I'm going to do when I get off this call is go down and uh, try that on my daughter. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I'm back, and today I won't be interviewing my guest. I'm going to be reading his mind and then teaching you how I've done it. I am joined once again by my fellow YouTuber and friend of the channel, Cat of the YouTube channel, Culture Cats. What's up, Cats? Good to see you again, and thanks for helping me out today. Listen, good to see you too, and I'm really, really looking forward to this. Uh, I, I, yeah, I've been looking forward to this all day. I can't wait to see what you're doing and how it's done. Uh, yeah. I asked Cats to join me today because he recently published a fascinating video where he received a psychic reading from a woman who claims to be a legit psychic. It was super interesting. When you get tired of my video, click on over to his. The link will be in the description and on screen at the end of this video. Now, before we go any further, to everyone watching, please know that there is no video editing at play here and Katz is not in on this. As I said, I'm gonna show all of you how it's done at the end. Everything you see is exactly how it would appear if you were here and I was performing to you or any of you in person. All right, Katz, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. When I do, I want you to think of the answer but don't say it out loud. Keep it in your mind until I write down what I believe you're thinking. I'm gonna put my guess in this jar, and then once I do, you can reveal your answer to the viewers. Sound good? Sounds good. Question one, let's start with something simple. There are seven days in a week. I want you to pick one and focus on it for a moment. Got one? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, it's in the jar. What do you got? Monday. There you go, audience. Cat says Monday. I'm looking good so far. Question two. That was pretty easy. One in seven. I guess I could have gotten lucky there. So let's step it up a notch. There are 365 days in a year. Well, this is a leap year. It's a 366, but that doesn't matter. I want you to pick a totally random day. Like a date, like a something. A, a date, yeah. So a month and a day, yeah. Got it? Okay. Yeah. In the jar, go ahead and tell the audience what you picked. 11th of October. October 11th. Okay. 11th of October in the UK. <laughs> October 11th in the US. Okay, sounds good. We're moving along. Question three. Let's change it up a bit. You said you've seen most of my interviews on my channel. I'd like you to think of one of my past guests. I believe there have been 12 so far, and I imagine you already have a few that are coming to mind. You got someone? I do. Okay, hold that thought. That was a good choice. That was a good conversation. Enjoyed that one. Awesome guest. <laughs> All right. Final question. I've nailed it so far, as you'll see in a moment. But this one, I struggle with a bit for some reason. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. I want you to think... I want you to think of a shape, but not a square. Okay? Square is too easy. I want you to think of a shape, and now another shape. And I want you to picture the two shapes, one inside another. Okay? So your two shapes, picture one inside the other, hold that picture in your mind. I never asked you which guest you picked. Uh, Dave McKeegan. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. All right, continuing. All right, 
Got your picture in mind? Shapes? I have. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's good enough. That one I'm not so sure of. We'll see. All right. All my guesses are in the jar. What two shapes did you pick? Uh, I picked a circle inside a triangle. A circle inside of a triangle. Okay. So that's a trick. Here's the reveal. Another disclaimer here. There's no trickery in the reveal. My guesses are in the cup and we're just going to see what they say. Normally I'd let you open them if you were here. It's more fun that way, but I'll try to open them facing the camera. As you can see. As we go. Ooh. All right. All right. Let's pick uh, this one. Don't matter. All right. Move this out of the way. I don't know which question this is. Monday. Very good. Very <laughs> good. All right. One for one. That was the easy one, though. All right. This is brilliant. Dave McKeegan. Yeah. Spot on. Those two were easy. I could have guessed either one of those, though. <laughs> Tell me left. Yeah, very good. <laughs> this is the one I struggle with. We'll see. <laughs> you actually said a triangle and a circle, didn't you? I, I said it exactly, a circle inside a triangle. It's exactly as I said it. So I'm four for four. <laughs> that, that is brilliant. Initial thoughts? My initial thoughts on how you did that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a wild guess. Uh, I, I cannot believe you're in the room on your own. I can't believe that. I believe that as I've been uh, saying this, somebody else has been writing that on a paper, on piece of paper. Nope. How they managed to switch um, that, uh, I mean, am I going to go as, as far as saying... Uh, a mirror. I did notice your hands drop off to the side at one point. Have you somehow managed to? Uh, if you, the way you switched them was very clever. Wrong, 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 wrong. There's no one here, and I didn't switch anything. You could be here in person. Really? Really? I wrote it down and put it in the jar. Yep. In in that case, it was it was brilliant. Uh, fantastic trick. It's all. I'm almost. I almost feel guilty that you're going to reveal how it was done because it was that good. It's like one of those magic circle things that like. All right, you're not claiming it's real, and that's enough. Just like let people ponder. But I am curious. It was brilliant, really good. Cool. I didn't know how it was done the first time I saw it. I had to have it explained to me. Like any magic trick, it seems amazing when you don't know how it's done, and then when you find out how it's done, it's actually far less impressive. But that's a good thing because all of you are going to be able to do this on the spot with basically no practice. I think I did this twice before I went and did it for at the party. First three questions, I am guaranteed to get right every time week, and I'll show you why. So, hey guys, I'm excited to show you how I was able to do this, but before I do, if you're enjoying this video and wanna see more like it, please let me know by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate it. Also, I recently set up channel memberships. My plan is that for every video going forward, I will also create a members only companion video, either with parts of the conversation that I didn't include in the public video, or outtakes, or both. So, if you want to check that out, or you would just like to support the channel, consider hitting that join button and becoming a member. All right, self-promotion over, now back to the video. When I asked you the first question, pick a day of the week, I am drawing, I am drawing this, and this is what I put in the jar the first time. That's so good. That is so good. Wow. Now, I ask you, which day of the week did you pick? Monday. Now, all right, cool, great. All right, let's move on to the second question. Pick a day and month, any day throughout the year. You think of the date, I write down Monday. <laughs> That's so good. That goes in the jar. 
And I said, all right, cats, let the audience know what day you picked. And you say October 11th. And I said, great, two for two. And now the next one I write October 11th. And then I write the person that you name. That is brilliant. And the, the first thing I'm going to do when I get off this call is go down and uh, try that on my daughter. <laughs> I think it's and I'll just not tell her how it's done. That is incredible. It's, it was so effective. You know, I mean, obviously I knew there, was, there must be some kind of trick behind it, but yeah, I, I honestly, I was thinking of people off screen. Did you have a mirror? Were people... Do... It's so simple. The, the, the brilliance is in the simplicity, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I do love it because it was so, you know, like I said, I picked it up so easily. I've only done this, as I said, a few times. And uh, that's the dangerous part of the psychics who have been doing this for, in many cases, years, right? And you're just a person off the street. You have no idea about their techniques, the cold reading, in some cases, the hot reading. And they, they've been doing this for a long time. You don't stand a chance if you don't know how it's done. That's, fa that's fantastic. You blow my mind with that. That has, that has genuinely made my day. I, I love I love that. It's brilliant. Really, really good. Do you want to spend a few minutes just to talk about your psychic reading? Yeah, sure, sure. For the people watching, when you go watch Katz's cold reading over on his channel, I want you to leave a comment saying if you think that she's a liar and just doing a grift and this is just an act, do you think that she's delusional and think that she believes that she actually has psychic powers, which I think sometimes is possible, or is she a legit psychic? Where do you land, Katz? What do you think is her situation? I genuinely think that she believes she can do it. I contacted well over 20 different psychics in the area and they wouldn't, as soon as I said, I want, I want this rec uh, to record it for accuracy so it can be analyzed online, uh, I was just shut down completely. And she actually came back and she was more interested in the challenge than she was payment. She even told me that she'd do it for free because she wanted to do the challenge. Uh, I did pay her, I thought it would be a bit unfair because I knew it was going to go wrong. So I thought, you know, I'll pay her so she gets nothing out of it. But I believe she genuinely thought she was going to succeed, yeah. Really? Mm. I, I, I would disagree. I, I think I recognize the technique. They all use the same techniques for the most part. Like she, I don't think she actually thinks she has magic powers. I think she's performing. I don't know if she's full-time psychic or if it's just a side gig for her. But like I said, I think there are people out there who believe they do have magic powers. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that. Let me know how it goes if you perform the same trick on your friends and family. Leave a comment below. And again, make sure you go check out Katz's video and his cold reading and let us know what you think. Talk to you again soon. Peace.